Harry and Finn, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. <sighs> Not about <Come> <laughs> Just thanks to everybody. Thanks, for me. thanks yes, to everybody. Yeah. There's a lot of um, thanks. Listen, congratulations. Uh, pretty much like one film each, nailed it. Just retire, call it a day, basically. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. No, it was because uh, you don't want to blemish any record now. How do you feel like with the reaction the film's getting? Because everyone's just raving about it. I think that it was always going to produce that in people because it's Chris Nolan. I think whoever was acting in it and everything else, I think he's such a, an amazing director that he creates incredible pieces. But. Um, I'm looking forward to going on to the next project. I think each is different and I'm just looking forward to keeping going. So it just gives us a wee bit of insight into each of your characters and how they kind of relate to each other. Would you like to go first? Yep, I'm Tommy in the film. Hi Tommy. How's it going? Um, and he represents the kind of everyman of British soldiers. He's young, inexperienced and kind of thrown into this world that he's not used to. Um, so my character's called Alex. Um, <clears throat> he's very much, he's a similar uh, kind of in age and, and rank and everything to, to Tommy. He's a little more uh, experienced at, at maybe being in war um, and kind of has a little bit of an edge to him. I think he's a little uh, more prepared to be selfish in terms of to try and save himself. Um, but I think at the base, he's, he's just as scared as everyone else, really. It's not unlike the interviews, actually. Thrown into the deep end, a wee bit more experience. So that's yeah. selfish perfectly. and selfish as well. Almost yeah, yeah, like exactly. It was coordinated or <laughs> almost, yeah. almost. Um, obviously, the film is a really big deal for both of you personally. But is there someone uh, out there, you know, that you want them to see the film and that they're gonna like it? And you're like, as long as that person's happy, I'm yeah. happy. My dad. Your dad. And has he seen it yet? No. No, not yet. So big premiere. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. What about yourself, Harry? I think my uh, my granddad's really excited to watch it. Um, he was very, kind of when he heard I was doing it, he was he was really excited. Um, he was in the RAF, so he kind of showed me all these pictures of him in uniform next to me in uniform, and I think he's quite excited to watch it. Excellent. Now there's a real sense of camaraderie between the characters on screen and the cast off screen as well, but I was wondering, have you... I always remember when Fellowship of the Ring came out, Lord mm. of the Rings, and the they all got matches tattoos. Tattoo question. Well, oh, am I going to? You see, yeah. so everyone's asked the tattoo <laughs> question. We've all right. a couple of times. Well, did you do anything, or no. did, did you mark it in any way? No. That's why I kind of preempted it because there's not a good response to it. Is there? No, you've just made me look silly because I'm <laughs> completely unoriginal. <laughs> completely <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. said they were going to. I went home, got loads of Dunkirk tattoos, and no one else. You're covered in but Dunkirk they just get tattoos. Lost no one anyway, else followed through. Yeah, you so can I see the, like a bit of a the top of the boat like picking out. Yeah. Um, do you keep in touch with the rest of the cast apart from doing the press and all? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think on a film like this, you bond quite quickly. Quite, um, yeah. I don't know. I came off of this film having felt like I'd made a few friends. I think you go from job to job, and sometimes you take one person. Sometimes you don't talk to anyone just because of how life is. But from this, I think I think I'll stay in touch with pretty much everyone. Apart from Dunkirk, what's your favorite Christopher Nolan film? Um, I love Memento. A lot. It was one of the first ones of his that I watched, and I just remember kind of loving it so much the first time I watched it. Um, yeah, apart from this one. Apart from Dunker. Yeah. Oh, you're so good at that, aren't you? <laughs> just, um, just what he said. The, yeah. uh, the Dark Knight for me. Yeah. yeah. Any particular reason why? Or? Um, I think the characters in it are amazing. I think all of his films are very character-driven, um, Chris's. But there's something about the characters in The Dark Knight and the way. Yeah, he takes such surreal characters from comic books that would never exist in reality and bases them in human interaction and such a reality. I was interested about that, Harry, actually, with Christopher making the comparison with yourself and Heath Ledger, or a lot of news stories around, but how do you feel about all that, you know, those comparisons? Um, I, think, I think it's uh, much more based on kind of the casting side of it, um, in that, I guess, when he cast Heath, it was, it was kind of considered a... a uh, an interesting move, I guess. I, I don't know if it goes any further than that, but obviously, any time you're mentioned in a sentence with someone you're a fan of, it's uh, you know amazing. And who's going to win between McGregor and Mayweather? <laughs> did you see his suit? I did. Somewhat, somewhat. Wild. Who's um, going to win? I don't know. My my heart wants to say McGregor, but I think Mayweather's going to win. I don't know. That's it. Very Get political. The, yeah, very yeah. the sport the is going to win. If you'll fight on the beaches, if you'll fight on the landing grounds, we shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender.
Where's the bloody Air Force? 